Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Volvo S60R design, as well as review and take a look at the other S60 configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Volvos have historically been the safe choice among the European brands, not just in terms of passenger protection, but also in regard to their rather tame demeanor. The latest models from Sweden prove, though, that safe no longer has to mean boring. The redesigned 2019 Volvo S60 is a clear example of this. This new S60 takes design cues from the alluring S90 sedan, giving it a sleek and, dare I say, sexy exterior. It also comes with the choice of three different engines, from the satisfying 250 horsepower T5 to the impressive 316 horsepower T6 and the invigorating 400 horsepower T8. That T8 further benefits from a plug-in hybrid system that can travel up to 21 miles in electricity alone, but production is limited to only 20 units in 2019. The 2019 Volvo S60 is available in four trim levels, Momentum, Inscription, R Design, and a very exclusive T8 Polestar engineered model. There are three powertrain choices, starting with the T5 that uses a 2-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine. That's good for, like I said, 250 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to an 8-speed automatic that drives the front wheels. The T6 has a turbocharged and supercharged version of that engine that makes 316 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque. That comes with all-wheel drive. The top of the line T8 takes the T6's engine and adds electric motors, combined output of which is 400 horsepower and 495 pound-feet of torque. It, too, is all-wheel drive only and is estimated to deliver 21 miles of electric range only. In all likelihood, the base momentum trim with the T5 powertrain will satisfy the vast majority of drivers. Okay? It comes with a comprehensive list of advanced safety tech and is eligible for almost all the features and options from the higher trims. That said, we're doing the S60R design because I like the sporty versions. And at the end of the day, we can see the S60 starts, it has an MSRP of 35800 And if you've got a few extra bucks in your pocket and you can make that jump to 41009 then you can get yourself into the S60R design. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's quickly take a little, a quick look at learning more about the S60R design. And then we're going to come back and learn about the features and take a look at the gallery and do all of that. And then we'll come back and do a build and price of the S60R design. And then I'll save that build summary so you can download it. We'll also quickly take a look at, well, as we go along, we'll learn about the other models, right? The momentum, the inscription, and that T8 Polestar engineered, all right? So let's go learn quickly off the top more about this R design because at the end of the day, this is our primary focus, this particular spec. Okay, so they have a whole separate page for the S60R. It says it's poised like an athlete, unique design, and chassis upgrades. Here they're talking a little bit about some features, right? It's got a high gloss black exterior details. You've got a choice of unique alloy wheel designs. Uh, there's contour seats, charcoal headlining, unique interior trim. There's also a stiffer lower suspension. And then they finish off by talking about if you wanted to throw in that, well, the T8 uh, twin engine plug hybrid that makes the 400 horse and 495 torque. Problem is they're only making, what, what did I say, 20 of those? For 2019, so good luck getting your hands on one of those. So you're really, at the end of the day, you're, the R design is going to be your best model because you're probably not going to see a T8 out on the road or have access to a T8 for a few years because they're making them in such limited numbers. So it's almost, re, almost irrelevant to me to even talk about them. Okay, so now they're talking a little bit more about that the details in, in, in detail, right? So first off, they're talking about that gloss black inserts for the front, lower, and outer grills. Give the S60R design a powerful and distinguished look. So it says the front lower and outer grille. So down here, the front lower and outer grills. So probably out around here and this front air dam down here, the Thor's hammer lights. And yeah, they are actually called Thor's hammer lights. They look really nice. Here they says the, the S60R designs, design delivers lower, stiffer settings for an even more uh, engaging feel when you're behind the wheel. So they're just saying, they're not really saying much, honestly. Uh, metal mesh aluminum deck decor inlays and contour seats in Napa leather, open grid textile, 
create a serene and invite, inviting uh, environment. So we've got Napa leather. They're using like an aluminum uh, type of trim to, to denounce the sport part, right? So you've got the black and the aluminum, right? If you go black leather anyway, which we are. And they're, they've got some subtle, uh, well, not so subtle, uh, exterior enhancements. And then, of course, that stiffer suspension. Here's a shot of the uh, S60R design. They've actually got some really cool photos is what it is. So they've got a few photos here that we can run through real fast. Ah, there's a good shot of the, um, of the interior. Looks pretty good, right? I do like the way the infotainment is laid out. The huge screen. It's really, really nice. I know we're going to get a chance to get a better look at that. Here it is getting down the road. Here they're showing the front wheel in motion. And you can see like it's uh, like the, uh, the, the, the parking sensors, right? When you're getting too close to objects and stuff. This is one of the parking sensors. They go around the bumper. This one's all the way at the end. And then here's a good shot of that Thor's hammer light. And then we get a little bit better close up. And we can see how it's gloss black around the um, fog light and all the down this lower grill. And this mesh grill looks really good. The car does look aggressive. And then it's got the black um, mirrors. It does look really nice. Maybe we might have to do ours in red, I think. All right, well, that was all they had to say for that whole page. They made a whole page that literally said nothing. <laughs> it literally said nothing. It's still a cool car. All right, I'm not hating on the car. Uh, but let's take a look in the interior here. We could take this all-around shot of the interior, and it's a nice shot. Look at that leather-wrapped steering wheel with the... With the piping and the stitching, looks gorgeous. Nice execution. And then, of course, the infotainment that looks like an iPad, basically. Oh, and then we can mouse over. So this is the Census touchscreen, our large tablet-like touchscreen. It's sleek and simple with bold graphics and a uh, portrait format. It's an easy, familiar way to interact with your car. What does it say down here? Four-zone climate control. So everybody in the car can control their heating, right? Everyone can, uh, and that must be standard. Rear seat passengers create their own settings via a touchscreen panel. That's pretty awesome. All right, so let's get a full view. What's this say? Rear view mirror, the frameless rear view mirror. All right, got it. Anywhere we see a little plus sign. Hopefully I won't miss any. Here's our panoramic roof. All right, something over here. What does it say? Laminated windows. Optional laminated side windows improve security and create an even more luxurious atmosphere by reducing noise in the cabin. All right. Oh, is that like not full leather interior? Huh. All right. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. Look, we've got the R design on the wheel. It says R on the wheel. Good shot of the door and the speaker. Yeah, all that looks good. We can actually take a look at the, um, the, the exterior as well. So let's do that. Okay, so now we can do the exterior. This is a little different. We don't have as much um, freedom to do what we want to do and move around the car. We can kind of just circle it in the path that they have given it in this desert scenery. Why are you out in the middle of the desert is beyond me. And yet the car is completely clean. You've made it all the way out there and it's not even dusty. Amazing. Amazing, this paint. All right, so that's the exterior. And it just looks all right. It looks all right. I mean, it's not bad, actually. But it's not as exciting as I would hope for. It's probably a little bit better in person. It does have a lower stance. and I wish the wheels were a little wider, but it's, it looks pretty good. Let's go some, through some more of those gallery photos that we saw at the front uh, when I was starting the video. I'm just going to run through them really quick. Um, yeah, so we can see the different versions. These wheels look really nice. These wheels look like M5 wheels, like BMW M5 wheels. Do you know what a BMW M5 looks like? Do you want to know what a BMW M5 looks like? I'm going to put a link up to the build and price review I did. There's another, another shot of those headlights. We already saw that picture. There's a good shot. The Harman Kardon system. That looks good. We can see the memory seating for two people right here. You've got your power locks. The, uh, the vents with the, with the knob control. Everything looks high-end. Every, I guess that's what I'm saying. Everything looks high-end. The seats look very good. I always liked how um, Scandinavian uh, car designer sobs. Uh, Volvos did their designs. Always really nice. All right, so I guess we're on to the interior photos. Oh, no, we already went through these. Let's, let's move on. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go through all the features of the 2019 Volvo S60. And they've got these cool tiles that show us all the different uh, 
topics, right? Exterior design, control, interior design, technology, power, um, audio, innovation. What does that one say? I can't safety because it's got the lighting. Accessories and the drive. So we're going to go through all of these. And then after we do that, we're going to take a look at the specs because we can see everything kind of up here. We're going to take a look at the specs. And then after we get done with the specs, then we'll jump on over to the build and actually do our build and price review. Okay? All right, let's start with exterior design. Um, so they're showing a nice shot of the car. And it is, from this shot, it is gorgeous. Those wheels, they are super hot. They do look like total M5 knockoffs, sort of, kind of, but they're super cool. What do they have to say? Confident exterior. A nice, nice website, by the way. Scandinavian detail sculpted sides, a sleek profile, and muscular shoulders above the rear wheels. Highlight the car's distinctive character and give it a strong presence in the driveway. And it says the prominent front grille wears the Volvo emblem proudly, while the long hood and deep front bumper exude power. Full LED headlights with our signature Thor's hammer design, told you, Creates a confident look day or night. Next, they want to tell us about their dynamic chassis. This one's called uh, uh, Control, right? The Joy of Driving. They're talking about their dynamic chassis. 4C Active Chassis. The optional electronically controlled system strikes a perfect balance between comfort and control. It constantly accesses, assesses the current road conditions in your driving style and adapts the shock absorbers to meet them. It also makes measurements and calculations up to 500 times per second and adapts the dampers accordingly. Plus, in addition to, when switching between the car's drive modes, the 4C system adjusts the suspension characteristics. So, so the car always behaves exactly the way you want. And then they talk about what? Their responsive steering and then some drive modes. So precise steering, handling, and ride comfort all work together to create a connected uh, feeling to the road in all driving situations. Plus, the innovative Rear suspension helps keep weight to a minimum for maximum agility. Uh, and then there's some driving modes. So you can tailor your driving experience to your mood. There are three default settings for the engine. Automatic, gearbox, steering, brakes, and stability control system that put the focus on driving, comfort, or fuel economy, and emissions. You can also create your own combination with individual mode. In plug-in hybrid models, an all-wheel drive mode is also available. The next feature is uh, interior design. Let's talk about the interior. It's a gorgeous place. What do they have to say about the interior? Modern craftsmanship. Welcome to the uncluttered space that puts the focus on you. The S60's large 9-inch census touchscreen is your innovative command center. Unique air vents have slender metal finish controls with diamond pattern finishes. I was almost mentioning that. We were kind of talking about that a little bit, weren't we? Yeah, we were. Uh, with diamond pattern finishes, the same finishes used for the ignition and driving mode controller. The R design trim highlights the sporty nature of the car with metal mesh aluminum decor, panels, and contrast stitching for the seats, tunnel console, doors, and gear shift. The inscription trim includes decor panels in driftwood and unique wood treatment. Here they're telling us about the power height adjustable. Uh, Seats come standard, right? So you got the sculpted supportive seats are perfectly contoured for long distance comfort. And the feeling of sitting low to the ground puts you at one with the road. Power height adjustment comes standard. Contour seats, which are standard or optional depending on trim, provide even greater side support as well as multi-directional lumbar support and an adjustable cushion extension. Now, we're getting the R design, so surely, surely the R design is going to have the most sporty of the sports seat that the, this Volvo comes with. All right, so let's talk about technology now, and then we'll move on to power. All right, so let's start with technology, and then we'll move on to power. For tech, now they're back to tell us about that 9-inch census touchscreen, large, intuitive touchscreen, simple-to-use controls is designed to keep you connected and in control. At all times, bold, clear graphics. Make it easy to absorb information at a glance. The portrait format in the center display make reading maps, viewing menus, and following navigation prompts effortless. Right? That sounds good. And reduces scrolling. And when your favorite apps and entertainment front and and with your favorite apps and entertainment front and center, your music, your podcast, your navigation, it's all there by touch or voice control. It has. It also has special non-reflective coating, and so is responsive and can use it while wearing gloves. Oh. That sounds cool. Now, what's down here, though? Oh, boy. The heads-up display. 
I love heads up display. Now, it projects crisp graphics and text onto the lower part of the windshield. The heads up display function makes your journeys easy and intuitive. It shows, shows you warnings and vital information related to speed limits, cruise control functions, navigation directions, and road signs. Road signs, even incoming phone calls. That means your eyes never leave the road while you're monitoring speed or receiving safety warnings. Plus, the brightness of the heads-up display adapts automatically to varying light conditions. You don't have to fumble with it, is what they're saying. Over here under the power uh, component of their features, they're talking about that S that S60 T8 twin engine that is, you know, the unicorn that barely exists because they're only going to make 20 of these bad boys. Design, but we're still going to read about it. Designed from the outset for electrification, this new generation plug-in hybrid model proves a more sustainable form of power and a truly engaging driving experience. The S60 T8 twin engine with 400 horse and 495 pound-feet of torque offers effortless performance. I'm sure it does with unmatched efficiency, which is that's a lot of power for a Volvo. So that that is a lot of power for a Volvo, almost 500 pound-feet of torque. It's a lot of power for a Volvo at any rate. It also features a selection of drive modes for every road. Pure mode provides the most efficient and clean drive. Power mode provides the most efficient. Uh, sorry, power mode assures outstanding performance. And default hybrid mode lets you choose between electric and gas. Or combine them to keep you moving as smoothly and efficiently as possible. That's interesting, isn't it? Central to our vision of sustainability, our Drive E powertrains are more enjoyable to drive and better for the world around us. All right, so Drive E powertrains. The S60's innovative engines balance strong performance with low emissions and fuel consumption. Dynamic in all driving situations, our engines feature turbocharging technology and advanced transmissions for responsive power. The T6 engine also has a supercharger for even more exhilarating performance, plus Multiple drive modes offer precise control over the car's powertrain. That sounds like a lot. Turbocharging and a supercharger on a car. Sounds like that, that's got a lot going on. Seems like everybody else can, only, can use one and get away with it. Why, why are you guys doing... What's the benefit of doing two? Everybody else is doing one power adder. Why do you have two power adders? A supercharger and a turbo. What's the benefit? Why isn't ever, anybody else doing it? That's what I want to know. Okay, so we have innovation features to look at, audio features to look at, safety features, accessories. We'll look at those. And the drive. I don't know what that is, but we'll find out. Let's start at innovation, and then we'll move on to audio. Okay? Okay, innovation. What are they going to tell us? Smartphone integration with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All functions you love about your smartphone are seamlessly integrated into your car's intuitive 9-inch census touchscreen. They just said the word a lot. <laughs> to help you stay well connected, make calls, send and receive messages, enjoy music, listen to podcasts, and navigate easily using the touchscreen, steering wheel controls, or voice controls. Census Connect gives you access to a range of additional apps to enjoy internet radio and audio books too. T-O-O as in also. Ooh, Volvo on call. So this must be their app. Our convenient app connects your phone, tablet, or wearable device with your S60 to make life less complicated and more enjoyable. Take advantage of our range of useful functions. Preheat or pre-cool your S60, lock or unlock it, find it in a crowded parking lot, or even have packages delivered directly to your car. What? Volvo On Call is your personal organizer, too. It lets you know when, you're, when you've got appointments. I think that's pretty cool. Every manufacturer has their own app that does this kind of thing, but then also every manufacturer has one of these apps and they all seem to be somehow, they all have their own little unique little twists and things that they do with them. So that's pretty cool that you can uh, have packages delivered directly to your car. How's that work? I don't know, but you can. Audio. Let's talk audio. Bowers and Wilkins, our top level sound system, is powered by 1,100 watts from 15 speakers, three different room modes, studio, individual stage, and Gothenburg concert hall allow you to tailor the sound to your music or mood. Plus, the system features a unique, unique air-ventilated subwoofer that is built into the body of the car to create precise, powerful bass tones. You know, while I was reading that, I just had this thought about these Volvos are really good values. You know, they throw a lot at these things, and a lot of people just overlook them. They overlook them in terms of their performance and all of that because they've got their eyes on the Audis, the BMWs, and the Mercedes. And these things are sleepers. 
And then also on the used car market, boy, after a year or two, well, you know, every every luxury car takes a huge hit. And these are no different. And boy, you could pick them up for a good deal. Why do I know that? Because I've looked at them before. The Harman Kardon. I like Harman Kardon sound systems. The high-quality auto system delivers 600 watts to 14 speakers through a 12-channel amp for clear and powerful sound. Developed with renowned audio brand Harman Kardon, who seemingly they're making audio systems for everybody almost these days. The system precisely optimizes the response of each speaker to ensure a powerful audio experience for everyone in the car. Automatic level adjustment creates a consistent level of volume and intensity, while special algorithms adjust the output to compensate for external noise. Nice. Let's talk safety. So we've got something called City Safe. Radar and camera technology helps you spot and avoid potential danger. It, it identifies other vehicles, cyclists, pedestrians, and large animals ahead, day or night, and warns if it detects an imminent collision. If you don't react in time, it can automatically apply the brakes to help avoid or mitigate a collision. City, I'm sorry, city safety also includes steering support, which helps to, helps you steer away from danger as effectively as possible. Then down here, I guess I should have put that in a block to make it easier for us to all look at, but runoff road mitigation. Now, this standard safety feature helps to make accidents where a vehicle leaves the road less likely to happen. It detects if a car is about to leave the road unintentionally between 40 and 86 miles an hour and can use steering and braking to guide the car back into the right path. If the car does leave the road, runoff road protection reduces the chances of serious injury. The structure of the front seat frame absorbs the impact of a hard landing, while prepared safety belts automatically tighten the hold of uh, front seat occupants in place. Please note, the driver is responsible for how the car is controlled at all times, meaning don't put that on us, okay? We'll try to help, but don't put it on us, all right? You still got to drive the car, guy. What's this? The Volvo safety cage. Uh, the passenger compartment is reinforced with a high percentage of one of the strongest steel types available ultra-high-strength boron steel to create a protective cage around everyone in the car in the marketing talk, but it's probably still really good steel. In addition, crumple zones in the front and rear dissipate as much energy as possible in the event of a collision. My question is, does this boron steel, now that you have the boron steel, does that mean that, uh, that this car is number one for rollover protection and all that? I mean, we could go and check uh, whatever that website is, the U.S. government website, to check all that crash safety stuff, I bet you even with this, the the most strongest steel in the world, I bet you that this that this car is not number one on any of those tiers anymore. It, for as famous as the, as the Volvo safety reputation is, I bet you they're not number one across the board or number one on anything. Because if they were, I bet you they'd be putting it up on this on 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 this page right now. Not to knock them down, but to just say, hey, I get it, boron steel, but boron steel doesn't mean that it's the best, okay? It just means that you're using a different type of steel. All right, let's learn about <laughs> accessories. Okay, they don't have too much to say. All right, give your S60 your own look. Choose from a range of styling and practical accessories to help you live your active life to the fullest. So what I'm wondering, this is a nice shot of the car right here, actually. that do This does look very attractive from that shot. Is that a T6 or a T8? At any rate... When we get to the building price, if, if there's accessories to be gone through, we will, of course, go through and accessorize our S60, our design, if they give us that option when we get there. Uh, I think there's just one other feature module to go through, and I think we might be done with features. Yeah, there is. We went through everything. All we need to do is learn about the drive, support when you need it, innovations that make driving less complicated. All right, so let's find out about the drive. All right, so it looks like this thing is backing into a space between two other Volvos. What do we got here? It says pilot assist. <clears throat> Designed to reduce the stress you can feel in stop and go traffic, our pilot assist technology assists with steering, acceleration, and braking. Of course, you're always in control of monitoring the road conditions and responding when necessary, right? Meaning you're still irresponsible. You're still responsible. Pilot assist works on highways and at speeds up to 80 miles an hour. Right. If you're going over 80, they, they're checking out. Right. They tap out at 80. Here's a 360 surround view camera. Make parking easier with a bird's eye view of your car and its immediate surroundings on your large touchscreen display. Why don't they use the word like Sensonic or whatever it was? <laughs> They've been using it everywhere else. The 360 degree uh, surround view camera allows you to see objects on or vehicles that may be hard to spot using only the windows and mirrors and especially useful when fitting into tight spaces. Yeah, I, I guess it would be called shoehorning in. Okay, so we went through all the features. Now, normally, 
Now, I've done hundreds of videos, and I never talk about buying, leasing, any of that stuff. And I'm, and I'm still not going to talk about it today. I just thought that it was interesting that they give you three different ways to own this car. You can buy the car the traditional way. You can lease it. That's also traditional. We're all, we're all comfortable with that. But there's a new thing that's going on these days where you can subscribe and, and just pay a and, – and that's really interesting. It says subscribe online or via the Care by Volvo app. It's an all-inclusive one-flat monthly rate. They take care of the insurance, maintenance, and roadside assistance. You just get in the car and be sporty. You just get to get in the car, be sporty, play around, and when you're done, you just walk away. I just think that's interesting. I'm not getting into anything about it, but I just think it's interesting that, hmm, I've never seen that right on the page before. Is this going to be a new trend that we start seeing? I've done some videos about those services, actually, now that I think about it. If you want to know about that stuff, I'm going to put a link up right now. Okay, now well, let's talk about some specs. We're over here at the far right-hand model. I don't think we can delete these, can we? Can we delete these? No, we probably can't. Oh, yeah, we can. All right, awesome. Hang on a second. Okay, well, we can only delete that one. But that makes it less things to look at. We're right over here, the T5 front-wheel drive R design, right? Base price MSRP starts at $41,900. It's front-wheel drive. You've got that 2-liter turbocharged engine that's good for 250 horsepower. It's got 258 pound-feet of torque that it makes at 1,500 RPMs. It's really good, right? Because what you don't realize is that when you're sitting at a stoplight or something like that, your car is idling just under 1,000 horsepower, really. When you just get on the gas, that thing jumps up to 1,500, 2,000 RPMs like that. And so this car's maximum torque is available right off the jump, basically, right off idle is what I like to call it. It gets, uh, let's find out about this fuel economy. It gets a, a city fuel economy at 24 miles to a gallon in the city. It gets 36 miles to a gallon on the highway. And it gets a combined fuel economy at 28 miles to the gallon. The 2019 Volvo S60 has a 14 and a half gallon fuel tank. It's got a cargo capacity of 11.6 cubic feet. And it's got a seating capacity of five passengers, if we didn't know that. This vehicle weighs 3,657 pounds. I love how clean and neat and easy they've made their specs page. Because some of these manufacturers, it's a hot mess in there. It's a hot mess in there. Anyway, exterior design or dimensions, just the ones we really need to know. What's the height of the vehicle? 56.6 inches. Everything's in inches, by the way. What's the length? 187.4. The width? 80.3. And the wheelbase? 113.1. Okay, we've got our interior dimensions. I'm just going to talk about, like, I guess I'll go through all of them again. All of these are in inches. You've got your front headroom is 37.4 inches. You've got your rear headroom, 37.2 inches. So good headroom in the back. Shoulder, your front shoulder room is 56.1 inches. Your front shoulder room in the back is 54.5 inches, which for reference point, a BMW X1 has a shoulder room in the front of 54.5. All right. You got your leg room in the front, 42.3. Your leg room in the rear, 35.2. Your hip room in the front, 55.4. Your hip room in the rear, 53.4. Okay, so we're ready to do the build and price of our R design. The MSRP starts at 42545 We've gone through everything they want to tell us about the Volvo S60 in general. Some of the, the features of the R design is it's got blind spot information system with cross-traffic alert. There's a Harman Kardon premium sound system. Right, and we already know about this. Well, this one is different. This one says 13 speaker. I didn't the other one say 15 speaker? At any rate, 13 speaker sound system, high end audio. It's got air woofer technology. It's going to sound pretty good in the car. I'm quite sure. Other features are a keyless entry with illuminated door handles. Oh, and hands free trunk lid. Now, interesting. Uh, well, we get the hands-free trunk lid. Everybody's kind of doing that. This one seems like you got to swipe your foot underneath, you know, a back corner of the thing. But it says it's got the um, illuminated door handles. The only other car that I know that has do illuminated door handles is the Cadillac XTS. Cadillac XTS. Mm, might not be a kind of car that you like, but I do have that, at, that build. At any rate, it also has smartphone integration, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And then they have their whole list of standard features if we want to take a look at those. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into, we're going to select that and then get into the build. And like I said, I don't get into the leasing and the buying. But look, I noticed it again. It said our design subscription, $8.50 a month, a flat rate. You just get in it and just go take this bad boy out for as long as you want and then put it up. 
I don't know. It sounds fun to me. All right. Anyway, let's get into the build of this art design. Ah, you can get taken in. And what flavor do you want it in? Well, we don't want it in the high, the T8. That all sounds all fun and games, but the reality is, is that you're not going to get one because they're only making 20 of those bad boys. So what you really want it in is, yeah, I guess if you want to just get it in regular guys, you can get a T5. But if you want to be super cool, right, you can get T6. We're going to be super cool, and we're going to get the T6. And the T6 gives you all-wheel drive because, look, the T5 is front-wheel drive. T6 makes so much power, they're like, that's too much power to put through the front wheels. we got to throw all-wheel drive on this bad boy. And so you got to get the T6. The T6 is the sporty one to get, right? It's the right one to get. So get that one. Okay, so now what do we need to do? We need to we can look through some of these photos. I like the way those photos slide across. That's pretty nice. And the, wow, look at the bolstering on those seats. Woo! Yeah, maybe I do need that monthly subscription service. Yeah, I need one of these. I'll take one. I just love cars. I just love cars. All right, so what color do we want this in? Do we want it in black stone? Mm, no. Crystal white metallic? No, denim blue. I don't want to. I don't want. No, I don't want blue jeans. I don't want to wear jeans. Pebble gray metallic. It's not bad. What about the birch light metallic? And then we have the fusion red, right? And then the uh, osmium gray, which I might be interested in. This one. What's this one? Osmium gray. That looks kind of nice. That actually looks kind of nice. That looks really nice. Now, I, I, I am a big fan of this whole fusion red metallic, but this gray, this osmium gray, if I'm even pronouncing that right, looks really good. It's a $645 option, $645 option, and uh, I think we're going to, uh, I think we're all over that. I think we're all over that. So we're going to select that and then move on, okay? All right, so now it's on to the wheels. I love how they do their execution of everything. It's very nice. All right, so here's our wheels. So this is the standard R design wheel, an 18-inch wheel. But that's not going to do for me. You know this. If you watch this chat, you know this. I don't roll like that. Give me the 19, son. There you go. There you go. 800 bucks. And besides that, you'll never get them for $800 again. You'll never buy a set of wheels for 800 bucks, all right? If you think $800 is a, a lot of money for a set of wheels, then we, 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 have, we have to have a start a whole new conversation. All right, let's move on to upholstery. I guess there's only one gig. You get the Napa leather sports seats with open grid textile upholstery. So they don't do a full leather. They don't give you a full leather. So they, they, they make this big talk about Napa, but it's not full Napa leather, right? Because it's got some tech. There's cloth or whatever. Here, here, right? Back here and all that. All right, at any rate, let's move on to uh, continue to exterior styling. Let's check that out. All right, do we want the integrated split-in pipes, right? And it's just a visual cue. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's have the visual pipes. Exterior styling kit, what's that all about? Can we take a look? Um, hang on one second. Let's see if I can pull that up. Well, the answer to, to that is no, I couldn't pull it up. But we can see on the um, on this photo very lightly, it says exterior styling kit. So what that means is it looks like the, the lower uh, rocker panel molding. You know, it's probably got a sport appearance package on it, so it makes it look a little more aggressive. And the reason why we couldn't uh, choose this accessory here is because it probably is bundled into this exterior styling kit. So we're going to get the exterior styling kit. Let me remove it and see if it changes. It doesn't change the look. Let's see. Uh, accept selection. Oh, yeah, it does change the look. Yeah, it did change it a little bit. Watch down here. At the lower front, at the uh, lower rocker panel, right down at the bottom. Watch the shadowing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the selection. Now watch. I'm going to accept the selection. It's going to change right down here at the bottom. Check it out. Hold on. Boop. You see that? There it is. All right. So yeah, I was right. You get this little sport appearance package. So is that worth 1,520 bucks? It is to me. Let's move on. All right. Well, interior styling. It looks like there's nothing for us to select. I don't even know why we're here. Why are we here? There was nothing for us to select. Let's move on to packages, though. I'm sure there's something over there. Yeah, there are a couple of packages. The heated rear seats and heated steering wheel package. And then what's this advanced pack? We, 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 yeah, let's get that. That all works for me. Oops. That all works for me. There we go. And then, But what's this advanced package? What's this all about? 
active bending lights. Oh, graphical head-up display. Well, boom, there you go. <laughs> I don't even need to look at anything else. It says heads-up display. Active bending lights, headlight, uh, high-pressure cleaning, visual park assist with the 360 camera, the park assist, the semi-autonomous drive system, right? This, this gives you all the good bits, the active bending lights, the graphical heads-up display, the uh, headlight high-pressure cleaning. That's where this thing comes out right here. Um, you see old German cars have been doing that forever. Pilot assist semi-autonomous drive system with adaptive cruise control. And then visual park assist 360 plus a 360 camera. So yeah, let's get that for 2,500 bucks. We're just gonna go all in. I mean, it's a good car. It's not a ton of money uh, when you're comparing what you're talking with other cars that it's competing against. We're, we're at 53,000 dollars. What other cars does this car compete with? So this car competes with like the uh, Audi A4, uh, the C Class, the 3 Series BMW. And you could certainly spec these cars up to higher those cars up to higher than this. I've done all those cars. I've done all of those cars. So you need to check out my different playlists. I'm not going to throw everything up at you, but I'll put a few more videos up for you um, while I'm talking. And uh, yeah, let's move on. All right, options, options, sport chassis. What's up with that? The lower, the lower sport chassis is designed to. I thought we already had the sport chassis, right? Isn't this the? T Where are we at? I thought we had the sport chassis. Let's get it. If it's only 200 bucks, it can't be that much that they're doing to it. So let's do that. Uh, here's that Bowers and Wilkins premium audio. We already read about that. I want to get that. The Park Pilot, Park Assist Pilot. I thought we had that in that little bundle we got. Apparently we didn't. Our convenient Park Assist Pilot makes parking enjoyable. It measures the parking. So this is going to help you park. It's a couple hundred bucks. Uh, yeah, we're going to get that. That's a cool accessory. The mud flaps for the front. I think that's cool. I want to keep my car clean. I like that. Oh, it doesn't work with that body kit. I was kind of wondering about that. So it doesn't work with that body kit. But we can get the uh, wheel locks. It's cheap security. The red key accessory. What is that all about? It just looks fun. With this remote key, you can limit the car's top speed, the audio volume, and set the adaptive cruise control to the longest distance. This makes it ideal for young adults and your family. The red key also comes in handy if you give your car to a valet or leave it with a garage. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, give me the red key. I like that. Give me the red key. Um, I do not need a bolster cushion and back seat. I don't need that. Luggage compartment mat, plastic. Yeah, I'll take that. What's this Polestar accessory? That's their fast bits. The Polestar engineered optimization powertrain software allows you to enjoy a more precise and balanced driving experience. Together with Polestar's engineers, we have optimized important performance areas such as mid-range. Oh, huh. Interesting. So they've tweaked the e they, they've tweaked their own ECU sort of kind of, but they don't give you any performance numbers. But that sounds fun. I'm all about it. I'm really digging this Volvo. I'm not even joking. Rubber floor mats. Yep. Maybe you don't know. I've owned Volvos. I actually have Volvo videos. I have Volvo videos. I had a Volvo. I had an old Volvo 850 that I put a, over three thousand dollars worth of IPD high performance parts in to make this thing have 300 horsepower. I'm gonna put a video up to that. Why don't they just sell the mud flaps as a set? All right, I'll get the ones for the rear. Oh, that's right. I can't get those. Duh. Um, and then what else? Volvo service contracts, prepay maintenance, Volvo on call with smartphone integration. I think we're done then. I think we're done. We did everything we want to do. We're done. Let's go to the summary then, okay? Okay, we made it to the end. We made it to the end. This car is just under $60,000. It's $59,070. It started life at fifty. It started life at 58000 and change, they said. And then we added all kinds of stuff, those awesome wheels, the gray metallic paint, that a kit, the exterior styling. We went to Funky Town. We did, we did what, exactly what we wanted to do. And we, we optioned it up to just under $60,000, right? Just under $60,000. Now, if you like the way that I spec this car, I've already printed off the build summary. And I put the, the, the build summary in the description below. So you can already download that right now. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I'm going to wrap this video up, and I'm going to go actually read about the um, about their monthly subscription service because that's just really interesting to me. Um, but, all right, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you made it to the end, you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to keep going with this. I'm having fun, and uh, I want you to have fun right along with me. So I'm going to let you go. You have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next video.